Right, I've got to come in 45 and a half and I've got to go across 1650. That should be ten millimeters. Ten millimeters is near enough. Yep, good. I can go from there, can't I? I can go from there. Zero that out and go 13. Should be 1375 from there. No, it should be 1125. Sorry, 1125. That's right, isn't it? 1125. Lock that off. And now I'll cut the shoulder for the 1125 right that's it there's just the uh, threads to cut on either end now um, Got to change the setup for that, obviously, but that's this complete now. There it is. Just going to put the threads on. I've got a single point cut the threads now. All right, I'm going to single point cut the thread on the end here. I need to change to the back gear. Right. I don't need to do a test cut because I've already done a test piece.
I'll just do a, a spring pass now. Perfect. Alright, flip it round now, do the other side. Perfect. In case you're wondering, I didn't set 29 degrees um, on the angle. I just came straight in with the cutter. It's only a fine thread and it's worked out fine. It's just a, it's a, it's a bit of a palaver. I have to take off the, uh, the tool post and put the compound on and set it up and there was just no need on a fine thread like that. There's the finished shaft threads both ends. Um, that's now got to sit in there. I'll put that in in just a second but anyway that's that's the finished shaft. So we take this out Oh, that's a bugger. Yeah. Well, it's just a, well, it's just got a burr on it. All right, there we go. That's the uh, the shaft. Got to braise it up now, and eventually, this piece will be cut out. Um, and I'm going to turn this piece down, I w well I was going to turn that down in situ but I'm, I've had second thoughts because it'll be more difficult and if I'm turning between centres I can actually turn it down prior to doing, doing anything else, you know, prior to uh, doing the, the brazing or anything like that. So that's, that's probably what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that down so it's in its finished position and then all I've got to do is just I'm gonna I'm gonna skim these off on the mill and then I'll just do some finished passes on them when it's in the um, lathe because I think it'll be safer actually so anyway good there it is so far right I've decided I'm gonna turn this center down for the uh, crankshaft um, bearing um, I was gonna do it actually in situ in between like the balance weight so I was going to do it in there but I think I'm just making life difficult for myself so I'm going to turn it down first because even if I do it in here it's still going to be turned between centers only I've got less mass swinging about doing it this way so I'll do it this way first before I um, braise it on
too, isn't it? Perfect. Perfect.
H that's now turned, ready to fit in there. Right, so that's now turned down to its finished dimensions. That was just um, a small change of plan. Um, obviously these ends will be faced off once they're, they're brazed on. I've got the other crank rod to go through there. So that'll be in another, um, another video. I've uh, run out of time on this one. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Um, yeah, the, um, the third video I think it'll be in the uh, crankshaft series will be cleaning these up cutting that off in the centre, uh, putting the chamfers on and making sure everything's uh, symmetrical and um, running true and in balance of course. So yeah, great, thank you. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.